that his appearance before the committee here, upon the insistence of the parliament, of course, through the speaker, that he has to be here, is enough a manifestation of the respect he has for the institution. We invited him the first time. He was not able to come, and he responded. We invited him the second time. He was not able to make it. He responded. And upon a third invitation through the clerk of the house, he is finally here. All I'm trying to say is that this is victory, not just for the House of Representatives or for this committee in particular. It's victory for our democratic system. It's victory for our economy. And it's also victory for the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is finally here. And I would like to expect that upon his engagement with us here today, I will expect members to look at the context and the context, content of the mandate we have. The subject matter of our jurisdiction as a committee is the one to be subjected to discussions here. Exercise has achieved a success of over 75 percent in our villages and the rest of them. So it is on the basis of that we saw that there were a few um, complaints here and there, particularly those in the villages. And that was why we said, okay, we now give a 10-day extension for the currency to have, I mean, for more and more of this to be collected, and then we'll make more disbursements. But I want to make my last comment, subject to the content of the CBN Act Section 20, subsection 3, which says, even after the currency, old currency has lost its legal tender status, that we are mandated to collect those monies. And I stand with the House of Representatives on this. What does that mean? You could have lost its legal tender status, in which case we have moved on, but you have your uh, money that you have not been able to send into the bank. We certainly will give you the opportunity to bring them back into the CBN and redeem it. Either you pay it in your bank account or you want to do exchange, we give you. You will not lose your money. That is the assurance I give to Nigeria.